Butler. We return to the world of the Myriad, a place where mankind has risen up against all odds, sentience evolving from mere vermin in the world's dark core, building safe havens for their kind upon the soil, transforming the chaos of nature into a delicate thing called civilization. Some time ago, five adventurers set sail to become a monster hunter in a distant volcanic island known as High Sword. The trip to get here has been chaotic, a bad dream blurred in their minds, not remembered perfectly and pushed aside to help make excuses for their complacency, neglected memories of senseless murder. Eden, a prosperous city of high virtue, had been sullied by the death of their ship's captain's son, and an occult ritual created within his home in an attempt to manipulate the memories of his terrified wife. If you're one to believe in fate, the wreckage of their ship, the death of the captain and crew, and the party struggles within the clam cave all link back to this moment. It's easy to not want to think of this any further, for they have reached their destination and can put the tragedies that got them here in the first place to the back of their mind. The adventurers have been training within a fortified castle of the Aegis Order, learning how to handle new equipment and protocols. The Aegis Order is a faction devoted to protecting the common folk from the horrors and monstrosities of the world. The main governing body of the world, the Consulate, is no longer as proactive about dealing with these sort of problems. In the distant past, the Consulate would have led Grand Crusades to wipe all forms of occultism off the face of the Earth. But these days, their protection is lax and only spurred into action when it affects trade routes, economy, and the stability of mankind as a whole through a religious belief system simply referred to as humanity. Oh. The players quickly came to accept, however, that the Aegis Order is not as virtuous as their noble actions would dictate. They regularly, regularly extort the people they rescue from perceived danger with the purpose of financing their own operations. They aim to solve the problems of the people so that they may gain enough authority that their transgressions are more easily tolerated. Those who cannot pay are sometimes imprisoned to balance the scales of what is owed to their saviors. In the worst situations, the Aegis Order rescues people who have never asked for help, but their payment is still expected for deeds done. The entire castle in which they reside operates as a toll bridge, not allowing any cart merchant to travel the main roads of High Sword without payment. As you have all pushed forth with your training here, you have seen the disgruntled travelers unhappy with having to pay the order, something they haven't always had to do. As a group, you are aware that the Aegis Order has not occupied this fort for a very long time and recently moved here from a different location. On the note of this castle being a troll bridge, but uh, a toll bridge, very different that works things. Too. Yeah, works no, too. Kind of similar. I mean, <clears throat> basically. We join Flaherty and Dick first. Flaherty is a red haired Dullahan, meaning her head has been severed due to an execution. Some very lucky individuals fated to have a second chance survive this experience. She has an affinity for fire with burn scars visible on her face and left bicep. Dick is an interesting individual who has a peculiar way with words. He is slowly dying from a rare disease identified by pus filled globs sprinkled across his back. His appearance has many questioning if he's actually a mutant but they are encouraged to believe he is human due to his knowledge on how to properly operate a gun. Both of these characters have been earning some extra money during the downtime, helping in negotiating with travelers who seek passage through the Troll Bridge. Troll Bridge. An arrangement, I imagine, as a bit of good cop, bad cop, uh, but we'll see how it plays out. Ideally, they finesse as much money as possible out of travelers without upsetting them so that their vocal complaints don't reach the ears of those who can oppose the Aegis Order. As such, kindness can go a long way in establishing goodwill amongst the people in this area, something the Aegis Order considers just as important. Goodwill is a currency all its own that can be spent later when the prize is more significant than what would be earned from the goodwill in the first place. At this moment, we see a traveler standing before them who finds himself in a dilemma with little coin to spare and only a few items amongst their small cart they have pulled up the hill by themselves. The merchant approaches Dick and Flaherty. <laughs> Second. What what happened to the old family that used to be here? Why do I have to pay so much now? What do you mean? 
Well, before you guys moved in, I had a good arrangement with the Arbons who owned this castle, and now there's ballistas everywhere. Men in armor. Oh, I? I. It's a time of war? Time of... War with who? What do you think the ballista for? <laughs> for... God knows what. This place was always safe before. What do you need them for? We're keeping you safe, but I need coin to do it. Keeping... I'd like to speak to the... Whoever owns this place. Uh, Michelle Arbond. Is she still around? I'm afraid he owns it now. She gestures to Dick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on your promotion. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Uh, what? Uh, Oi. Wh Oi, what is your last name, sir? Just play along. <clears throat> Clifford, mate. Well, how did you come to own this place? I was here not that long ago, maybe two cycles ago. The suspiciously, Dick will look around left to right, and then we'll pull out his gun and kind of like show it to him. Uh, I, I don't want any trouble here. No, mate, no. This is how I came to own this place, mate. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> he shakes the gun <laughs> like an angry monkey. He's, <laughs> he's fucking just waving it. Flats, he's nodding like he should. This guy should understand. What? what, what? You, what? You, you, sh you killed them all. You, you came in here and you shot. No, mate. No. Oh, no, no. No, mate. You got the wrong of it, mate. Well, then what am I supposed to expect? You should be using your laughing gear on me knackers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Excuse me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> is, is Flatsy's going to look around. Is the coast clear? Is there anyone around? <laughs> um, the coast is clear, except for the Aegis Order guards who are pretty much on your side and have left you oh, to deal with yes. this. Unless anything goes awry. Please commit. Please commit to this. Um, they're not going to be... If you're committing, they're not going to be happy if you're forcing people to gob on your knob. <laughs> do it. Do it. Commit. Wait, how'd you guys know that? How'd you know what that meant? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, 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 episode 5. <laughs> yeah. We've heard I it a few times. How did you understand that? Please make him do that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Dick puts the gun away. <laughs> oh, and pulls out his other gun. Pulls out his cum cannon. His magnum dong. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. If it was anyone else, they'd charge you more. Yeah, mate. That's true, mate. Well, usually, I wouldn't be charged at all. You see? Listen, mate. Look, mate. Listen. You look, you look being safe. You safe right now, mate? Oh, uh, I'm feeling less safe than I ever have coming through here, to be honest. Well, well, think about what she was doing before you came through here, mate. All right, what if you was being chased by a troll or something? They wanted to eat your giblets. Guess what? We fucking shoot them with our ballista in me gun. Okay, how about this? Normally, we charge everybody every time they come through. You pay just the once. Next time, we'll look the other way. How much is it? How much you got? <laughs> he pulls his right pocket out into a puff of dust. Uh, <laughs> I got other pocket, mate. Other one. Other one. Pulls his other pocket, and he's got about four worth of wealth. I got What's four, you got, mate. You're four, mate. What you got in the car, mate? <laughs> What's that uh, called, mate? I, I don't have much. You can look through it if you want. Hey, we was going to do that anyway, bro. What? We were... Yeah, mate. Right? It's normally five wealth. <laughs> Dick, Dick, climbs up on, Dick climbs up onto the fucking wagon. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, randomly generated supplies to pop out here as you check one box. Yep. Uh, you open up a case containing many big packages of water skins. Simple Fuck supplies. Yeah. All right. 
No contraband in here, mate. What about this, uh, chest? Package stacked with compasses carefully bound in wrapping paper. Hmm, mate. Give me one of these compasses, bro. The full wealth and you can go through, mate. <laughs> that... Unfor that sounds fair. What was your name? Uh, Harold Gagasia. Well, Harold, I'll tell all of the guards to let you through for free next time, okay? <sighs> sure, if that's the best I can get, I appreciate it. All right, give her the money. Now. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm handing it. I am currently handing over the money to you in person, in real life. Nice RP. Oh, I made a ka-ching. Yeah. Are we like all good? Like I said before, we really appreciate you helping the war effort, too. What? I, I'm not going to ask your, any more your questions. Your wealth is going towards keeping the people safe. Yeah, mate, you'll see, mate. You, you, look, you're, you're all bare on your fucking laurels, pretending like you don't know. All right? Guess what? War's coming, mate. All right, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that's right. If you ever see me again, then I guess next one's free. Don't forget. If I get hassled here one more time. Hand Ooh. on my heart, I won't forget. He'll begin. What was your name again? The Harold. Got it. Harold Gagasia. Okay. Bye now. All right, mate. <clears throat> I need to restart me map tools. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that. Clarity, I need to restart me map tools, mate. All right, go do it in the bushes. All right. Watch that. While Harold, uh, excuse me, while Dick goes over his uh, map tools install, uh, I can take a quick look at Flaherty and what changed about you. Uh, honestly, not too much. Uh, okay. You've gained the empowered shove ability, just in case you want to do some shoving around. I made sure you had a, oh. a bow. Uh, I updated your, I believe, your armor so you could have some more fire resistance, stuff like that. Uh, there is no longer adrenaline, which is one of the main thing that's going to uh, change for a lot of the characters. Uh, Ooh, it's now okay. a system, uh, basically what was adrenaline would now be empower <clears throat> and any ability that has empower on it. Uh, let me bump it up for the stream. So they can see. Okay. I see. I see. <sighs> so my Kindle gains one empower. Can you move me, can you move me over to that map? And also, yep. uh, re replay the song you're playing because it stops when I'm not connected, I guess. There you go. Roy, thank you. All right, so with your empowered shove, if you had any amount of empower, it would use all of that and add it to the parts where it's color coded, which is why it's relevant. I brought that up that for every one empower you have, it would deal three more splat damage or heal three more based on that ability. Oh, okay. uh, and similarly for your, your flame send ability, which was your main one, uh, there is a keyword called exert which is, uh, it has one exert. You gain one exert when you use it as a status effect that goes down once every turn. And if you are exerted, you cannot use any ability that has exert. Okay, makes sense. Cool. All right, clear enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dick got a lot of changes, particularly because his gun entirely revolved around reloading something that used adrenaline. Um, yeah. So actually I put this in here to make sure you can see it. Oh, okay. Put it right there. Fuck Flatty. Flatty will split the wealth she she got from the man. Oh, thanks, mate. Give some to Dick. Uh, That's what I load me gun with, mate. Oh my god, live patch notes. So yeah, so basically oh. your gun always wow. costs five, but it gets stronger every single time that you reload and gain in power through reloading. You can only reload in power up to four, but you can still gain in power from other sources. So like other characters have ways they could maybe give it to you. So there is an example of what your gun does when it's not loaded, what what it does when it is loaded. Okay. Um, a lot of your train too. A lot of your abilities also gained. Uh, you have an apply mark skill, and you'll see yep. like uh, reading through them that marks do certain things when you um, consume them on targets. 
Uh, the one main change is that your blade at reload is if you hit somebody who has a mark, you can use that reaction to reduce the wealth cost. So you still have a way to reduce the wealth cost, but it is not 100% tied to reloading now. Okay. And I can only do that once, right? Uh, you have two reactions per turn. No, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I can only reduce the wealth cost of my gun one time, technically, right? Per shot. You can right. do it as many times per shot as possible, but it can never go below one. Okay, so I, I would have to do two bladed reloads in order to get it down to one per shot? Yeah, and you wouldn't be able oh, yeah. to use, even though you have two reactions, you can't use both on the same sword hit. Right. Okay, I see you changed opportunity as well, mate. Um, yeah, I, th I can't remember what it was for you, but a, a lot of stuff got a lot more unified. It and that... you changed opulence as well to give in power. <clears throat> which I just noticed. What is subtlety? Uh, subtlety is the social skill. Wow, Moon not knowing what subtlety is. Am I surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't see it in the social list. Is um, it stealth? No, it would be called subtlety, but your character may not have any subtlety. So when, <laughs> oh, when, you, when you click social, if it doesn't show up, that's because you don't have any. I uh, do have, I do, I do have subtlety. So, so when you hover over... Yeah, hovering over it, it's not showing it, but it is when, popping up. When you hover over it. social, is that what you mean? Yeah, I'm hovering over social right now. It's not, subtlety's not in there. But I, when I click it, I can do a subtlety roll. Oh, um, that's one. Yeah, subtlety is one of the default ones, so you have it, but you don't have a plus one to it, so it's kind of irrelevant for the abilities. Uh-oh. Hey, re oh, Reggie. It should be showing up in there. I'll make sure I fix that later. Okay. Uh, any other questions? And I can move on to the next boy. Uh, push one target hit with your last attack one way for me. The target's mark, consume mark, and apply too slow. Mark is an action. How many actions do you get per turn? One? Two. Two. Okay. Um. So how do we see what you see with the stats there? See the muscle mobility, all that stuff? Uh, when you hover over social on the selected tab. What is patience? Oh, that's so good. That's such a good change. Oh my that god. That always there. Get it? Uh, what is uh, what is patience? Uh, patience is added damage to your next attack. Okay. And can I stack it infinitely? Yeah. Um. When I when I hit someone with a mark, does does it consume the mark? It looks like it consumes on certain abilities. Certain abilities consume it. A lot of yours are triggered right now, so. Your opportunity will consume a mark, and it'll only do it if they have a mark already on them. Okay. So um, like, it's a status effect where you can put, like, five marks on someone and then consume one in whatever various ways. Okay. Uh, is patience consumed when you use it? Yes. Well, okay. All right, I'm good. Questions answered. Nice. I'm good, too. Holy shit. Concluding that, we join uh, Killfuck Soulshitter, a shy barbarian from a brutal berserker tribe who finds himself now aligned with an organization that feels like a more organized and calculated version of the lifestyle he has left behind. He's just finishing <laughs> some extra training with Frankardo, who has had something on his mind whenever practicing with Killfuck. He oh, brings it up yeah. just as shyly as Killfuck swings his hammer. Oh yeah, I bet he's gonna... Uh, hey, hey uh, k kill fuck, right? Well, uh, yes, yes. Uh, how can I help you? Whenever we're training, you kind of hold back. You know what I mean? Like, you're a little nervous whenever you, I see you swing the hammer. Like, I feel like you could be putting a lot more into it. You know what I mean? Well, uh, I, um, I, I feel as if, uh, if I put everything into each swing, then I'll tire myself out and, you know, Training is supposed to be an extended period of time where you're learning about yourself and you're learning about your opponent. And if I put all of my strength into one swing, well, I don't want to kill you, but I also don't want to tire myself out so that I can learn more. Okay, so it's not like... It's calculated. You're, you're being calculated here. Yeah, also, I, I don't want to kill you. Yet. 
Well, I'm noticing when you're uh, you're training with the other guys as well that Gilliard's kind of the leader around here, right? Like everyone's kind of following him. He seems like he knows what he's doing, but like, look at you, man. You're a mountain. Like, why don't you just, I don't know, you don't really speak up either. Well, sometimes the strength to fight isn't the same strength as it takes to lead. I, I guess, man, I, I just want the best for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I just don't think that... I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, maybe I just don't have the confidence in myself yet that I really can show off what I can do. Ah, oh, come on, man. He throws an arm around you. Uh, about waist yeah, height because you're kind of a gigantic <laughs> man. Killfuck will kind of like look down and kind of tilt his head to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, thank you. Yeah. Just, yeah. you got to have that confidence. You've got the body for it. You're swinging that hammer. I know mm -hmm. you can do it, but like, I feel like if you were in a combat scenario, life or death, your buddy's going to go down. But you could call out to let him know there's someone behind him. I, I think you'd stutter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really just... It's, it's a problem, honestly. Well, I, I don't know what I would do if, if he was going to go down. Uh, if, uh, that's never really happened before. Well, just want you to be ready for that when it happens. And I also, I, I think I need to let you know, uh, how would you feel about killing other barbarians? You know, I mean, it happens almost all the time. Oh, oh, I'm really? Oh, yes, well, you know, other tribes, other families who would vie for power amongst us, uh, we would simply kill them. I mean, if they did not uh, listen or obey to what we would tell them to do, we would simply eliminate them. Oh, okay, I, I've been uh, trying to keep the news away from the captain. I've been hearing these rumors about, like, a whole gang, a tribe of wardens somewhere up north. I don't know, causing some issues. I just thought it would be the last thing I want him to hear because maybe it would be weird if you went out there and you were smashing in, like, your brother's heads. But, but, but it's not like that. Oh, oh, okay. Well, if it's not like that, then there's nothing to worry well, about. Well, you said it's not like that. Oh, 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 I see what but you, you mean. See, yeah, this is yeah. the confidence. You you got to work on that, buddy. Okay, I, I, I will try my best. Thank you. All right, I'm going to head in. You take care of yourself. You as well. Um, as as he walks away, um, <laughs> as he walks away, Kilfa kind of like uh, gives him like a thumbs up as he walks away. He's like, "Okay, right." A little o cage. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, again, not too much changed for you. Okay. The most important is that frenzy is now always the maximum value. It used to be that if you had four frenzy, you would deal one to four extra damage. It's now always four. Mm -hmm. Your rage ability gives you empower, which I was explaining earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, your new ability is incapacitate, which is helpful because it always hits. It is not actually an attack roll. And then it has some status effects applied to it that if you also rage, <laughs> then the empower numbers would go up. Okay, cool. I think that was it. Nice. Nice. Dude, the suplex move is sick. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. Action suplex. Empower two. Empowered suplex. Hmm. Next up, we have Chuck. Oh, yeah. This is an erotic episode, isn't it? <laughs> huh? It is, it is not an erotic yeah. episode. Chuck, still in bed, gonna be. avoiding the physical training that has not agreed with his mental ambitions. A self-proclaimed mind bender who dabbles in the occult while dressing like a hipster from Eden. His psychic abilities make it easier for him to create unseen mischief. His time has been spent getting more acquainted with the growing occult powers within himself, feeling something inside himself that somehow still is not a part of him, like oil and water that so floats to the rock. top when he calls upon it. Mm -hmm. You got two new abilities, primarily. Whoopee. All right. 
uh, which is commune, which lets you once a day get empower, and then the fun ability, which is hubris, that uh, introduces another one of the keywords that are in here. Uh, let me. Chaos will apply a random uh, status effect to you or the target because uh, Hubris applies chaos to the other target. So you will gain an ailment or a buff. It's totally random if it's beneficial or not beneficial. Uh, cool. The test combat that I ran with you, you accidentally gave like 30 health regeneration to the enemy and killed everyone. All right. Uh, Sweet. And then you would buff that with Commune so it gets stronger. But but I could be making the debuff stronger? Yeah, because as hubris gets stronger, it applies more chaos, and chaos has a chance of being a beneficial effect. All right, that's awesome. Love it. As you lay in bed, Lucky comes over from the other room, noticing that you're finally awakening, and brings over a hot cup of tea. <laughs> the fuck is this? Everyone else got a hot... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey! We didn't even have one I had dick. I have to make sure you You're a stranger. A You're a mysterious <laughs> stranger. I, I, Hello. I brewed you some tea there, Chuck. I thought you might need it to help wake you up this morning. Thank you, Lucky. You have been a fine companion for me. Why don't you share this bed with me? <laughs> Come on. Are you sure, Master? You'd like to yes. join? I could use the embrace of another person during these trying times. The mind is quite tired, and so is the body. He sits cautiously on the edge of the bed. Come on, lay, lay with me. Uh, is this going to get? Is this going to get weird, sir? No, just hold me, Lucky. Hold me until I go back to sleep. Are you? Sir. You're not supposed to be going to sleep, sir. They're going to need you in a moment. Nah, tell them I am tired and I will be going back to sleep. I've already told them four times, sir. Uh, well, tell them a fifth. Uh, be gone. Uh, yes, yes, master. I said be gone. I'm be gone and... <laughs> Dude, he right. owned him. I go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> nice. All right. Dude, owned. <laughs> <laughs> cool I'm getting an extreme rest bonus <laughs> we joined getting a sloth bonus so tired we joined Gilliard in the lounge overlooked by the statue of complication surrounded by blue candles common imagery amongst the Aegis Order Gilliard has joined the Aegis Order with the clearest purpose of the group he seeks knowledge about dragons, horrific flying demons of flesh and bone, most well known to scavenge human corpses to throw them into the bottomless lake. There are very few dragons on Hyde Sword, but the Aegis Order is a great place to start learning about them. The founder of the organization, Azorius Ehrenreich, referred in legend as the People's King, has tales sung about his incredible prowess in combat against dragons. It's hard to believe such ancient tall tales of this man single-handedly killing dragons without aid, but either way, these stories have inspired people to join him and form the Order a thousand cycles ago. These same stories keep the Aegis Order held in high regard as fearless soldiers capable of slaying the greatest of beasts. Gilliard has been given a rare privilege by the librarian of this fort. He has been trusted with an Aegis Order manuscript detailing everything this sect has come to know about dragons. Books are of course incredibly dangerous, some would say more dangerous than dragons. The myriad lives within the words and can easily corrupt even the strongest minds to absolute madness, but Gilliard has shown impeccable resolve and trustworthiness throughout his short stay on the confines of the stronghold. During the downtime, he has been able to seek the answer to two questions from the tome without fear of insanity. What is your first question? I want to know how to speak their language. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Gilead sought to learn about the language of the dragons, having heard of people being able to earn the title of dragon speaker. However, 
The words of the book took your education in a different direction as you came to learn that dragons simply speak the dragon language. Uh, dragons simply speak the common language shared by mankind. Hardly being able to believe this, having never heard of any stories of dragons speaking to people or saying a word, you delve deeper to understand the truth a little bit better. The world is unified by one true language, and to deviate from this language is often found in the unnatural, within mankind who strive to create their own self-expression, creativity, identity, and spread secrets. Common language is the language spoken by the myriad when it corrupts your mind, and its language permeates through all beings as a foundational core of verbal communication. Humans <laughs> speak it, trolls speak it, serpents understand it, and rats whisper it. Like your parents speaking you to you as a toddler, the voice of the myriad is heard throughout your subconscious. What separates dragons is a generalized desire to not speak with anyone. You've basically learned that dragons avoid responsibility at all costs, and they fear that speaking to mortals just means they're going to have to do something. Hmm. Oh, fuck. They're shut-ins. Relatable. <laughs> uh, and then you have one more question I want to know more about the first dragon speaker ask if they can reproduce the humans denied yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give birth to a dragon baby dude denied <laughs> dumb story the origin of dragon speakers the creator of the manuscript went to great lengths to try and figure out and interview a dragon speaker to try and hear what they had to say about their situation and what it really meant to be one. Unfortunately, the truth of them could be a bit disappointing to hear. And as you read forward, you're not really too happy with what you've uncovered. Basically, oh, a dragon speaker is somebody like yourself who holds dragons in such high esteem <laughs> that they're willing to do things for them. Ooh. Their ability to avoid responsibility is only overcome by their desire to create hordes and collect things. However, as a dragon, it's hard to go through marketplaces and pick up the various knickknacks that they would find home inside of their hordes. So they would bring someone like yourself in with the promise of power, riches, and whatever they believe a dragon might be able to offer them <laughs> and send them to the local flea markets to bring back knickknacks. Most commonly, dragon speakers actually end up being trolls because of their innate obedience and loyalty and inability to really ask too many questions. Interesting. This guy studied to be a slave. <laughs> <laughs> Indentured servant is a better word. <laughs> uh, and then I believe that's all for you. Yes, you yeah. have a uh, you have a consumable, not consumable. You have the um, <coughs> sorry, my desktop has a million things on it. The dragon tome is a usable item for you, so you may bring it up if you come into anything dragon related and you want to risk losing sanity to learn more about it, given the situation, or even right now if you had another question, you could use it, but then your sanity would be lowered for the adventures ahead. If used during mm -hmm. combat, you're still going to take the same sanity damage, but it'll allow you to heal someone and grant them in power. And when you go to zero sanity, you die, right? Uh, when you go to zero sanity, there's a negative sanity bar. If you go to negative 30 sanity, you are... Okay. That's when it's bad. So when he comes into something, it does what? Yeah. When he what? He said when he comes into something? Mm, I don't think anyone said that. I don't think I said anything about coming into something. <laughs> you did. You said you... I swear no, to God. I Clippers, just... he said... I swear to God, you're asleep right now. Minus one. That's what happened. Minus, minus one. one. Minus you're two. You're having wet dreams again. I'm trying to figure out the fucking mechanics, man. <laughs> Find out an RP. All right, whatever. In the courtyard, you can all hear a bell ringing, asking you all to come outside. Does Chuck get out of bed? No, Chuck's pretty sleepy from, you know, a hard day's work. <laughs> All right, let me uh, gather <laughs> everyone who's not Chuck real quick.
bed's just so comfortable. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, where did Gilliard go? Got you. I mean, you seem quiet. <laughs> Dick being a little edgy kid. Sorry for placing you next to the others. Oh, he's going to be leaning on the post, isn't he? Yep. Feels like we're missing someone. Because we Post are. <laughs> <laughs> he's leaning against this, guys. Wait, never mind. That's like a balcony. Well, it's got a post. Yeah, yeah but the, it would, yeah, the post stilts. would go down. Yeah. How else would it stay up? Gravity, bro. Hmm. Everyone Whoa. gathers outside in the courtyard due to the bell ringing and knowing that this usually means practice would begin. However, your time is about okay. due and that you finally will be able to be considered true Aegis recruits in the eyes of those around you to prove your valor. The captain walks forward, Captain Von Smith, and addresses everyone, quickly noticing that one person is missing. Uh, so uh, where's uh, uh, the, uh, the hat one? Pro probably lazing around. Wish I could, Captain. Have you checked the beds? <laughs> He's probably there. Well, I haven't checked the beds. Uh... How did they know that? Ha okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently <laughs> they've asked you to wake up five times. Uh, does anybody want to go get him? No. Not particularly. <laughs> I'll do it. Why don't you ask Dick? I'm smoking, mate. You can walk and smoke at the same time, right? Mate, so they don't let me smoke his soy, mate. Wait, is Gilly that a rule Gilly here? Yeah, they Gilly yell at you. Leave him be, you know he's dying, his condition. Dick smokes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not a cigarette. He just like starts emitting smoke from his ears <clears throat> and mouth. Mm. Guys, it's just grass. <laughs> he just rolls up grass in a piece of paper and smokes it. <laughs> Not even in paper, in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> he just, he just, just hotboxes a closed fist. Yeah. That is what he is doing. You know, <laughs> I don't think that helps with your illness. Mate, I'm, I'm fucking dead anyway, mate. Fucking dead, oh. mate. Who taught you oh. that? Me. Smoker. Yeah, that makes sense. No, oh, come over here. You're not dead, dick. You're a new yeah, man. Mate. An ageist <laughs> man. <laughs> Captain. Yes. You ever seen me back, mate? <laughs> a few times, do yeah. Not, you've, uh, do not, yeah, don't make him take you off You will shirt not stop you. scratching it. Uh, yep. Yeah, mate. Didn't, didn't you guys want to go to his room when we first got here? It was too It was too busy, mate, for me. His loss. Well, I don't know if you got up to that during our time or not. No, mate. Mainly been smoking me hand grass and scratching me back. Extorting people at the gate. Honest what living. You, what do you mean extorting? I mean taking. Wait, what do you mean uh, extorting? <laughs> I mean, just, oh, I thought we were doing good here. That's Tith just joshing. He means letting people through. Family. Tith ties, mate. Ties. Hey, uh, duck. Uh, dick. Duck. Is it duck? I haven't talked to you much. <laughs> dick. Duck. It's duck. Dick. dick. Yeah, my favorite Namco game. Uh, dick. Duck. Could you do me a favor and load up that revolver for me? Got some money I can have, mate. <laughs> but it doesn't require money to load it. Yeah, all right. You think you know everything about me gun, mate? Huh? <laughs> huh? I'm just loading it right now. I'm transmuting me, me, me stuff. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's getting so loaded right now, mate. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Uh, uh, very, very good. And here is your, uh, you were owed more wealth because you did such a good job at interrogating those fine, unextorted individuals. Yes, mate. What that is what happened. Me? What about me? You go, you get paid too. Look, mate. He handed you some first, mate. Oh, look in your hands, lady. Oh, sorry, I was a bit, I was daydreaming. About money. All right, now that you've got that gun loaded, I say you go put it in Chuck's face and let it rip if he doesn't get out of bed. <laughs> Can't finish me with that. Can I finish me hand grass first, mate? 
<laughs> can, can we go watch? You're going to have to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you all want to watch. I've definitely seen a bit more bloodshed than I'd like to see. So I'll be out here waiting. We're okay, all waiting to see that. Literally all waiting. I keep Go rotating. Go. I keep fucking rotating my <laughs> Did you trip, Dick? <laughs> Dick trips on the way into the building. And we'll soon arrive at the sleeping Chuck. Chuck Chuck can swear he smells oh. rotting cheese as Dick approaches. His clothes not having been washed probably in a long time. There's someone burning grass. What does that smell? <laughs> He takes the uh, last hit of his hand grass and then hops onto the bed, crouched like he is in his picture almost, except he's got a gun out. And he points it at Chuck. <laughs> Dick, there's no need for the gun. I've been looking at you too. So... Hey, mate. Yes? Captain told me to blow your brains out if you don't come downstairs, mate. Do it. <laughs> you you want to die? Yeah. Why? Why, mate? I, I hate it here. Yeah, well, you, this is what works. I need to like. be out running around and controlling mines. I don't need to be locked in a castle or a keep or wherever we are. I hate it. Mate. I need to be a free man. Oh, that's a what free we, chuck. That's what we's going to talk about downstairs, mate. How could well, you possibly know that? I because, control the mines, not you. Yeah, well, go control the captain's mind and look, I use me social cues. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we've been outside for weeks and weeks, the same meeting every day. How could you possibly know? <laughs> We're Mate, going out. Li- li- I just got a I got a I got a <laughs> inkling of a hint. From what? There's just something telling me that today's the day, mate. Okay. Dick, you have are you a... just going to shoot him or what? I... <laughs> Leave it to Dick to have the biggest hunch. Yes. Uh, look, at, look at me back. And he takes, he kind of puts his suspenders down and lifts up his shirt. And you see the disgusting roiling postules on his back leaking pus. Dick, I've been meaning to talk to you about your horrible back, sir. Huh? Yeah, mate. I disease. believe... Since we've been here, I have learned a new spell of sorts, and I believe I can cure your aim- ailment. All right. Do you accept? Yeah, mate. Look, I ain't got much to live for, mate. Cool. All right, how do I use that new thing that you just told me about? <laughs> uh, you click them, and then it gives you a target, and then you click them. Okay, window. <clears throat> um... Selected. Mm-hmm. Okay. Click. All right. What do I do now? I click him? I click myself. You click the button that has the name of the skill, and then Dick, it will give you, you a drop down back? to a target. Stand back. He's going to cure me, mate. Is it which? Oh, hubris. That's the one. I can't believe me me life threatening disease is finally going to be cured, mate. Witness me. Witness me cure this sick man. And from here I shall show the blind how to see and maybe do something with leprosy. Be gone, sickness. <laughs> well, <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> Chuck calls forth the chaotic nature of the myriad <laughs> as blood starts to pour from Dick's eyes and his oh, pus-filled oh. black back squirts poison all over the bed he stands next to. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's Chuck, the sickness leaving his body. That's just the sickness leaving his body. That's not just sickness, he's bleeding from his eyes! <laughs> right, that's... Well, where is it gonna go? Where else is it gonna go? It's tears of joy, mate! I can't fucking believe it! <laughs> that's... Yes, exactly. It's, uh, you know, very religious, and this is a great thing that we've done here today. Let's go show the, uh, captain or whatever. Are you sure he's cured? Yes. Yeah. Look at me, I look, look great. Look at him, he's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see all that stuff? You 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 saw yourself. The his back it just opened up and spit. That was the sickness leaving. Dick, between us, you look way worse than you did before you came in. <laughs> Mate, he says as he wipes the blood from his face, his eyes having leaked the blood. He licks his hand. Do you feel better? Oh, man, I feel fucking alive, bruv. Touch me back. Touch it. <laughs> how, what, what, how does it look? It's like a... It's like a... After the pus has fallen, is it free-flowing still, or is it... Oh, yeah, mate. It's like a curtain of blood and pus. Oh, Dick, your, your shirt is completely soaked. Just grab a new one. Mate, you think I got more than one shirt, mate? No, just take Gilliard's. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dick goes into Gilliard's chest and finds some kind of tunic or shirt to put on. I'm sure, unlike Dick, he has more than one shirt, and you're able to pull out... He only has one extra shirt. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh... Gilliard's shirt does not have a giant back hump slot. Yeah, it's like a normal person shirt. <laughs> Fla Flancy will get her dagger and like cut it down the middle. Yeah, so just like cut the back out. <laughs> so he just his hunch pokes out of the shirt. Like Blow a, like a hospital out. patient. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There how I, how I look. Bad? You look great. You oh. look better than you ever have. My <laughs> Spits out some blood on the ground. Yeah. Where did you leave your own shirt? Did you leave it in Gilead's stuff? I put it in my mouth and ate it. <laughs> what? Oh, Dick. He didn't. He was lying to you. <laughs> He's lying. Flatty's going to look towards... <laughs> it's, on yeah, it's... it's on the okay, ground. It's on the ground next to the chest. It's on the ground. He probably won't know. It's fine. No. He, he can use my old shirt, mate. Okay, Very guess, well. Uh, oh, let's tell everybody that you're cured then. Yeah, mate. He trips Listen. and falls as he starts to move and stands up. We need to come up with a story. I can't be here much longer. We need to leave these walls. My mind needs to experience other things so it can expand and I can take other minds. Well, let's just ask to be deployed. I don't know. All righty. All right. Ew. Okay. So is Dick still bleeding out of his eyes? Yes, and they walk out of the room as the bed behind them, covered in poison, burns and kind of bubbles like an acidic <laughs> oil. Cool. Did you end up shooting yourself or something? <laughs> hey, no, you'll never got... believe it, but I think Chuck cured Dick. I'm, I'm not, cured Dick. I'm not going to die anymore, mate. Was that this that, that man is thing? cleansed. Oh, mate. How the hell, uh, you how look the hell like did you do that? absolute shit. What the hey. hell? Did you shoot him? Did he... <laughs> I think no, mate. He shot himself. No, mate. Did it backfire? No. He's cleansed. Look at me back. It's a miracle. Wait a minute. That shirt doesn't fit you. Ah. <laughs> ah. 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 I think I see a face in there. Yeah, mate. I feel yes. like I've seen that That's shirt. That's how you know it's a miracle. You see <sighs> Jesus' face in toast or a tortilla. <laughs> Y'all are <laughs> some of the weirdest shits that have ever come through here, but All right, Captain, we're here. First you insult his back, now you insult his shits. <laughs> I think the lad can take it. Yeah, mate, I'm good at taking it, mate. Can are you uh... his, uh, his ball boy? You put his <laughs> balls in his underwear for him? <laughs> I'm not a ball boy, I'm a ball man. <laughs> Maybe he could come back to my place. Uh, no, anyway, we cleaned that off. Guys, listen. We've got one oh, final sorry. thing we'd like to do here before we send you all off and congratulate you on becoming Aegis recruits. Obviously, oh, you've he... all noticed the bear cage. <laughs> Sent a couple of guys out, you know, fetch some bear. I uh, thought it would be cool if we all just, you know, kind of sat around and show us what you learn against, you know, bears. You want us to fucking fight bears, man? Ah, you've got a gun and a man's face on your back. All right, I'm down. I've fought bears before. It's not that hard. This guy, he knows what he's talking about. He's fought so many bears. This one can't die. 
Because she's gone. Oh, the animal. You. Oh, never That's mind. That's not uh, slightly true. I thought you were talking about something else. This oh, guy is sure uh, I can die? some kind of poet or writer man or some fa uh, fancy. I'm a mind freak. Have you learned how to use a <laughs> weapon? The only weapon, you know, the mind is stronger than the swords, huh? I have heard that one before. Yes. And you've got a gun. What more yeah, do you buddy. need to handle two weak, measly, simple, bear, cubs, children? Wait, these are cubs? Oh, took them right away from the mommy, right in front of her. Absolutely really? furious. Now that's that's right proper agency, sir. Good job. We, I well done, Captain. We take what we're owed. <laughs> okay, kill fuck. I'm just gonna stand behind you, and you can kill the bears and stuff. <laughs> Me? Uh, sure, I can do my best. Don't worry, I can take a bear. He can I go inside with the latch and get my book real quick? quick? Hey, everyone get in position. Chuck, you might want to move. Chuck, Hold do you on, want to I get deployed gotta... or not? Come over here. Is there like any fur or anything that I can grab of these bears just around here? Anything? Any any fur you can grab of the bears? Yeah, I need maybe some shit. Droppings? Yeah, maybe some bear shit that uh... I can reach without getting my hand ripped off. Uh, I, I could a lot use some bear shit. Cool. How do I spin my character? F. How do I spin? Uh, F rotates and then control nice. and scroll wheel will spin you. Don't spin too much because then you'll spin as much as Dick does and it's can't sh stop it's shift it. Shift and scroll wheel. Shift uh, and shift. scroll wheel. Can't stop, won't stop. Or control shift scroll wheel is Takes bear shit, then goes inside. <laughs> Where the hell is that boy going? That sick fuck. He always <laughs> runs away from the fight. Man, he's gonna eat the shit. Y'all hey, right? even need him, like? <laughs> yes, man, he's my fucking faith healer, man. He cured me back. <laughs> you don't look very cured. Yeah, well, it's blood. It's just me weakness leaving me body. <laughs> I thought bloodletting was more of like a... Sex thing? Yeah, me too, mate. Uh, that's not what I was going you, for. You were going to say sex thing. No, I don't really talk about that. What Chuck right. up to? Hmm? Well, you can do me first or them, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm on you. Alright. You're the one with the bear shit clumped in your hand. I'm gonna put some bear droppings in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the middle of them and start meditating. I'm gonna go into a trance. And I'm going to attempt to uh, incept one of the bear's minds, whoever <laughs> the shit came from. <laughs> and I want them to uh, just basically, they just have to kill this Captain Von Smith guy. <laughs> All right. They're just. Okay. So that, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Okay. Yes. Is that good? We good with that? Yeah, I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, not Captain Von Smith. Lucky. I want the bear to just. What? <laughs> I want the bear to just. Seen that motherfucker. What do you mean? Here. He's right there. Yeah, he's out here. Oh, he's out yeah, here. He is out just there. Just beeline to Lucky. <laughs> right, L lucky is probably better off dead anyway, man. Let's what be the fuck yeah. lucky. He's lucky. Uh, okay. Look at his face. All right. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like it would work on the captain more because he's the one that stole him right from their mama. So like. Yeah, goodbye. but look, but look at Lucky. He was probably there. <laughs> Look you're at him. He looks like a mad bitch. at him because he wouldn't sleep with you. Exactly. No, he made me wake up. <laughs> and I'm pissed off. <laughs> Look right. at him. Chuck begins performing an occult ritual in the middle of basically the bedroom where you guys sleep at night with bear shit, spreading it out into a circle. Oh, there you go. Right in the middle, in the rug, Smearing apparently. It. Didn't have the common Next courtesy to, the to sizzling even just... acid bed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's exactly what's going on. With an attempt to inception a bear, Chuck, nice defeating the bear in a battle of wits quite <laughs> easily, <laughs> has convinced it that when it has the opportunity, it will <laughs> try to kill Lucky. <laughs> nice mission success. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. Which bear? Bear one or bear two? Well, I don't know which one one I Sorry, I had to take a shit. (laughs) Here's another part of the bear one or bear two question. Based upon your uh, influence, (laughs) your association with the Aegis Order and their devotion to the complication, as you dealt with in one of the previous episodes, you have a couple of ways you can influence this fight. (laughs) One of them being to have it only be one giant super giga bear. Uh, or to increase its stats in various ways. You can select multiple of them and seal, uh, seal your own fate. Let's Wait, select so all if of it's them. A, if giga it's a giga bear. bear, is it still set on killing Lucky? Yeah. <laughs> giga bear. That's, that's, that's content. Because that's content. It, it is. Yeah. No matter what, if there's it one worked, bear, two bears, it. he has still done the inception ritual. Uh, as with uh, these different options, you'll see that they have a fate thing associated with how much fate you'll get for winning the fight. Uh, if the bear kills Lucky, that's not you winning the fight and you won't earn the fate that way. And fate is going to start working more towards uh, being like uh, experience points. I vote we're for Giga Bear. Now we're on an escort quest. What do you mean an escort quest? Because if Lucky dies, we don't get the modifiers. That's not what he said. That's well, the bear said. can kill Lucky, and you can still kill the bear afterwards. Yeah, but he said that. He said. Plus no, he's already. He's already. He's already decoyed, dude. Yeah, no, that's not what he said. He said, he said, if Lucky dies, then we, uh, wait, is that what you said? Yes. We, we, that doesn't count as winning if Lucky dies. So you we need to have, right. yeah, yeah, but, but we, but we have to kill the bear losing. though. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. There it's just go. a thing that could happen. No, I, I, am I the one missing? If yes, we get a are. modifier and Lucky dies, we don't get the gains from the modifier. No, he's saying killing Lucky isn't the goal. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, is that you still have to he's kill the bear. He's saying that we have to kill the bear. It, do- it doesn't matter what happens to Lucky. Oh, okay. In Fuck fact, Lucky. Instead of saying it just confused you and he didn't need to say it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> no I right. needed to know that. Thank you, because I got really focused on killing Lucky. Yeah, I need a group consensus on which complications are being activated. All three. I vote for Giga Bear. All three. Hmm. All three. <laughs> That's yeah. majority. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm ready to get Swifty one shot. <laughs> Give me a moment while I prepare the Giga Bear. Yeah. I think that's a club name. <laughs> New York's hottest club is Giga Bear. <laughs> yeah. That would be a so, really, be a really uh, good gay club. It, What's the, 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 is Captain Von Smith going to freak out when all of a sudden this bear just merges into know. each other and becomes huge? Well, the way that fate is working in these scenarios where stuff like this comes <laughs> up, it just needs to be sort of meta accepted that it always was one bear. And that oh, I was so trying to like be careful to it. not say that it was multiple bears, though I think I did. So Why wouldn't he go like after Lucky timeline. anyways? Lucky just looks like scrap meat. Um, <laughs> yeah, it wants plump meat. <laughs> So hold well, on. It's probably it, it, just been getting fed whatever the fuck. It's right? gaining 20 armor. I am oh, adding two <laughs> extra shit, abilities to it. <laughs> you guys want armor does on our, this thing? Does armor <laughs> refresh on the beginning of their turn? Uh, percent. I believe 25 percent of armor refreshes. Okay. Not an armored bear. Um, currently choosing two abilities anymore. to give to it. Yeah, it doesn't declare. So I'm basically controlling it to kill as many things as I can. Oops. Okay, I chose those. Make sure combat's not currently going. Uh, it gets 25% skill scaling. That's a new thing that I can do because of the downtime where every single creature ability, like if they have an attack that's a bite that does 10 damage or a spell that does blah, 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 I, they have like an internal scaling that will increase the stats. So he gets mm. 25% more juice. We get to know what the mo- elite modifier is though, right? That will happen when combat starts. Yeah. And then, yeah, he's gaining an elite modifier. I'll keep these uh, aside in case you do kill it and then to add up the the fate. And let can me we get ahead. like, can we get like KS? <laughs> Did you get KS? I don't think like, anyone's going to help us. 
<laughs> this is literally like them seeing if we're worth our metal or not. Okay. Giga Bear. Uh oh. No, he doesn't get to attack. He just gets to move. No, he does because he doesn't declare. Wait a minute. So that's just OP if they get. Wait, oh, that modifier kind of fucks us in the ass, huh? Giga Bear music. Oh, shit. Well, he's uh, running straight to Lucky. Giga Bear is gaining an elite modifier as he's been juiced up by the complication to absolute full. Uh, gains plus two defense and 10 more armor. Two defense is actually, uh, that's one of the weird things right now. Two defense is 50 defense. And so it's minus 50 oh. accuracy whenever you attack it. Uh oh, nah, it'll be fine. Captain Von Smith, is this your starting positions? Uh, I go right here. Where can we go? You, you can go anywhere, but you can't start too close because he's going to want to open the latch and won't let you stand like directly in front of it. Give it like four I, spaces. Like I mean, he's, I been he's not going to open up to get I that could. close. Yeah. <clears throat> Captain. Oh, hey, I do have a bow. <laughs> All right. Okay, Captain Von Smith will start unshackling the cage. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready to show us what you've got and everything you've learned. And oh my God, the bear immediately starts <laughs> running out and double moves towards Lucky and hits him with the drag maneuver. Hits him to the ground. Wait, uh, oh my God. With a tackle. <laughs> Oh so my god! god. <laughs> He's able to drag him out. over here towards the well and pull him aside. Jesus, it's mulling him! <laughs> oh my god! And then Why it's going so to piss off at Lucky. <laughs> Bite Lucky, Lucky and trigger the bleed. <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh my god, he's dead! He <laughs> fucking killed Lucky! Oh my god, Is he's he the dead! One from his parents? <laughs> Come, what kind of fucking bed? Like a grab! <laughs> oh, hey, I thought you said this was just a bear! This thing's a freak! Oh my god, no! That, that thing's a monster! Put it down, boys! <laughs> <laughs> it's Lucky's turn. <laughs> it's Gilliard's turn. So move is an action. Right? Lucky dies for uh, his turn. You can when you hover over your character, you have five moves. That's its own thing. Okay. Then you have two actions, which are the green crystals on the left of your portrait. Yeah, I'm just getting used to all the, the things again. I need to make sure this thing doesn't kill anyone else. Why is it called Lucky? Taunt. Oh my god. god. Right. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, that's free action. Yep, nice. still one more. Guard. Gilliard is I'll taunted hold him down, the bear. Boys. He's so fucking brave. <laughs> Lucky's, Lucky's name just feels so ironic now. <laughs> it's my turn. Um, my free. I get one free action a turn. Is that right? As many free actions as possible, but you can never repeat the same action twice. Got it. Okay, so I'll do that. I'm gonna get. He's gonna get mad. Um, and then for lucky, he runs in, and then uh, I guess I'll do one of these. Whoa, no, that's not it. It's this. Yup. Uh, oh, <laughs> oops. You still do damage though. Yeah, 18 damage. Not terrible. A heavy swing, unfortunate miss. But it's kind of expected with your hammer, with low accuracy mm -hmm. and the 50 defense that the bear has gained by being a Giga Bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, has currently uh, received no damage and still has two armor remaining. Okay. Um. That yeah. was all of your actions. You end movement after your action, and your swing takes two actions. Yep. That's a that's big damage, though. Yeah, 18 is pretty good. For a miss. Yeah. Nice, we got this. I have a new spell. Wait, how much movement do I have? Uh, you have five. Five. Five, yeah. <clears throat> Everyone has five except for Dick, uh, who had his <laughs> kneecap bit by a clam. <laughs> <laughs> he will uh, crippled, mate. pull out a short bow 
that she's been practicing with during her time here. Except my hands are full. <laughs> and I can't. Any, any... You got it? We got it. We got, I got it. it. And fires at the Giga Bear. Dude. <laughs> Your bow is relentless, so you can still fire it again. Oh. Why does it keep telling me to target Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> you finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, Take I that. think I could I could hold it down for at least a little bit. Take Do that, what you, you can. Beastie. Dick. If Cured. I shoot, if I shoot from behind, kill fuck. Does it hit him? Yes. Oh, there, it, it, your abilities always target allies unless you have a way to avoid that. Okay. Go here. Uh, no, my, the the matrix for shooting my gun is cardinal directions. You right -oh. Three. We can't move diagonally, right? No. What if you just moved up two and then jump on the wall? Oh, you only can move one more because of his leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to stand near Gilliard because I'm afraid I'm going to get fucking cone hit by this dude. Is my gun still reloaded? Yeah, you have the four in power above your character. Okay. Uh, also, do uh, remember that you can, uh, the attacks that the bear used, if you hover over the abilities, it will show you all the damage and everything to try and not get caught off guard by what it's doing. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Doesn't look like it has any AOE ones, but we don't know everything that it has yet, so I'm just going to stay here. Um. Fuck. I maybe. Can I st can I stand on this guy's corpse? <laughs> uh, if you can move there. I was, I was gonna say maybe I should have done that, but I don't think I had enough movement to do that. No, you didn't. No, you did. You did it good. Um, I'm gonna stand here, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna apply two marks to this bitch. Mark one. Dick points at the bear. And then Dick points with his other hand at the bear. The bear is marked for damage as Dick gains some patience, waiting to line up the proper shot. Chuck. Dick, what are you doing? Just pointing at the bear? Help! <laughs> okay, hobble that fast, mate. Me leg's bad. I got a bum leg, mate. Those damn clams. Question about, uh, commune. Uh, what does this look like? Like, would, would this be something I wouldn't want to do in front of people? Uh, most of the psychic abilities are like more internal meditation based that you're not actually doing any sort of weird magical effects. So you can definitely do that in front of people. Um, okay. commune does have a chaos component to it. So like, again, if you do start spitting out acid tiles, that might be a bit weird, though the Aegis Order is much more lenient on various forms of occultism than a lot of other people are. Okay, and the chaos is just, who knows what the fuck's gonna happen, right? Is that what that is? Yeah. So literally anything could happen. Yeah, pretty much. Could light yourself on fire. All right, and it's a free action? Yeah. But it is once per okay. day, so you only get to use it one time. Well, I'm assuming this is all we're doing. Hopefully. Uh, okay, and then can you explain Empower one more time? Empower is if an, an ability has an Empower component, like your Hubris skill. Uh. Um, the damage of Hubris and the amount of chaos it applies goes up per Empower. And then all Empower is consumed when you use that ability. Okay. Um, how, much, how much Empower can you have? Is there a cap? There's no cap. Do no you, cap? Does it does it persist no forever? Cap. Uh it will end, it will leave at the end of combat, unless you have like some stuff between combat like uh Dick's reload. Okay. So so at the end of combat, that's when you lose all your empower. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well I'll do commune then. Since it's free, I guess. Punishment. Uh you've gained two well, punishment, which is you take damage whenever you attack something with a weapon. Oh fuck, that's not so bad. Okay, cool. 
Uh, I've also... All right. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I have a thing where I can type in so people in chat can see and read along as well. Nice. So two punishment <clears throat> also is not a lot. All right. Uh, so, and then what? I got some movement and, a, and another action, right? Uh, you have oh. five movement and two actions. Cool. All right. Hey, does Dick still have any poison on his back? Why do you ask? No, I'm just wondering. His back is pretty much in a constant state of dripping. Yeah, it's ever present, pus. man. <laughs> okay. Four, five. Okay. And then uh, with this uh, firebomb, can I lob it over Killfuck? Uh, it will always Maybe. go exactly six tiles and land wherever that is. So, yes. I'm um, rereading it to make sure I'm not lying to you. Nice. Yeah, you'd have to stand one back, I think. Okay, so then, yeah, I actually want to stand here. Yep. All right. Nice. I'm going to be helpful. Mmm. Look at this. I'm helping, guys. Wait, we love that. Eat fire, hell the bear. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> It's I, a just threw a fire, I just threw a fire bomb at his face. Okay. Chuck brought a fire bomb to a bear fight. Yeah. It returns to the bear's turn and they stand inside of a fire tyrell as well. So they take burning damage again. Um, I'm double checking the bear doesn't have any like <clears throat> negative resistances <sighs> to fire, but it definitely doesn't enjoy being on fire. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Lucky, how you doing, bud? <laughs> oh. It looks like he that might still have good. some life left in him. That's just, uh, that's just how he life. sounds normally. Hey, Flaherty, maybe you can... <laughs> maybe you can revive Lucky. You can forget. It cost me six wealth. I'm going to oh. stop this mm. bear. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'm thinking about how to Stop it, please. how to bear best. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to move. Uh, I am taunted to Gilliard, so I will claw swipe down one at Gilliard, take a huge glass <sighs> mash across his face. Uh, 17 damage, but his armor holds strong. He still has 14. However, the bleed that's stacking is full piercing damage that'll go to his health. So it will claw swipe with its other hand back <sighs> across the other side of his face. And then, um, let out a large roar, thunderous boom from inside its belly, granting it counter, frenzy, and cure. Counter is whenever someone near it hits it, it will take up to 13 damage back. So you melee combatants for the next turn. All counter goes away at the end of the next turn. It is in a defensive position to defend itself against you guys. Cure mm. removed uh, three burn and two of the frenzy. Wait, that's weird. I have to look at that later. Oh, no, I see. I, it's, it's just written differently than I thought it was. It removed one burn and two frenzy. All right. Lucky's turn. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> nice turn, Lucky. <laughs> Okay, um... Mate, me gun, me gun pierces, so if you could stand to the sword, that would be great. Can I... So... Sh would shove still hurt me with guard? Because I'm um, not technically hitting it, right? I believe the answer is no. It wouldn't hurt you. Now, if I shove him forward, does that hurt Lucky? Or will he kind of just go past him since he's dead? Ah, uh, he'll go past him. But I could shove him into the well, right? Or can I only push him in the cardinal that I'm at? Oh, the water supply! You can push him to the side. It's in any cardinal direction. So I can push him and make him hit the well and take splat damage, right? Yeah. Cool. You push right, him out nice. of the fire tile, though. Yeah, well, I'm trying to push him and then, you know, do damage while I can and give Dick a shot 
so I don't have to move, you know? Mm -hmm. Forceful shove, Giga Bear. Whoa. I pushed him seven, into the well. Seven push, 29 splat. Oh, uh, wait. Huh? That's not right. Yeah, that I don't think I should have <laughs> seven push. I think it's using your empower, but it's not supposed to. I don't have empower. Oh, no, I still have two ticks. I've been hit twice. I didn't use any. Wait, what does exert do? Clients, you you may not. Oh, OK. Oh, I see. It's a bug because the bear has scaling that I gave it in the beginning of the fight, and it's actually <laughs> using the bear scaling for your push in the printout for some reason. So nice. it is supposed it's using to be my adrenaline. 13 splat and three tiles. I'm pushing him into the well, though. Boom. Well, wait, OK, I only I'm wanted thinking. to push him until he hits it, right? Yeah. Uh, Splat damage, 13. Nice. And then 16 I, because of the frenzy. And, and then I guard. Up. Nice. The bear slumps over and sits down next to the bell, the the well as he gets pushed into it. Kill fuck's Bleeding. turn begins. Will you walk Gilead forward into say. the fire? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to hit him though. Uh okay, so uh, yeah, because he's got counter, right? Yeah. Um, it goes away I'll... after this turn, though. <clears throat> oh, you cannot exert skill while you have exert. True. Oh. That's pretty true. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of true. Um, Can you opportunity attack stuff that moves away from you? It has to be... Two when it's shoved? Bears. It has to be its turn. Opportunity is always has to be the creature's turn because it auto-targets yeah. whoever is on initiative. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, and it counters, right? It's got counter on it right now. Yeah. yeah. So I can't use rage. You got anything you can throw at it? A mean look. Um. Mm. A sassy walk. I could do this. <clears throat> Let's go all in. Um. Okay, I'll go do that and move here, but I won't attack it yet. That's where I need to go to shoot. Oh, that's where you need to go shoot. Okay. Um, I can only walk that far. You yeah, can go yeah. down to the bottom. Um, Wait, you could you could take yeah. his old spot though. Maybe. You could stand on Lucky's dead body. Could I move here? And would that be all right? Is my gun, right? my gun. Uh... Sorry, it shoots through, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I pushed um, him to make it easy for him. Yeah. Okay. But could his dick just move? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I can only move four, and the only way that I have a shot on it is. Oh wait, I could take your old spot. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to? Do you want me to move up, and then you can move there? Yeah. That's great. And then I'll, and then I'll move here. Yeah. So then on your turn, could you guys so do I'll this move. in RP? <laughs> Mate. I'll move up here. Thanks, yeah, mate. My old spot. I got a bum leg, mate. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I pushed him You're for welcome. you. I pushed him for you. Hey, uh, actually, mate, I'm gonna fucking blow his fucking brains out, mate. <laughs> well, I hope so. I think it's gonna fuck me up. <clears throat> um, I can take it. Uh, I'll go there and then just end my turn for now. Flatty. Uh, Flatty will move here. Oh, and here comes then, the head. Uh. Remove a head and breathe fire all over the bear. Cool. Wait, is that supposed to reach him too? <laughs> yes. This poor bear. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. All on fire. Oh my God. I knew there was a reason I was in love with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's getting hot over here. In love with her? Did anyone hear place that? A, place a head back. <laughs> You're watching. Here over the bear. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm bleeding. Uh, Dick will hobble. 
Uh, counting squares, hang on. Uh, range 11. Range? Is there a way to say how many blood stacks I have on me? Can you move Hello, that much? Oh, Dick. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Was I here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. I'll just move here. I don't remember where I was. Um, okay. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Apply mark. Wait, wait, it, how many did you move? Uh, either three or four. Oh, okay. I, I heard the counting of six wrong. My bad. I was counting the range on my, uh, mark. <clears throat> um, and then he will take aim with the gun and fire. Nice shot. 29 Whoa. damage. Holy cannoli. Whoa. Whoa. That's my turn. Damn. The bear nearly put down already. He's <clears> only <throat> killed one of you, but it was lucky, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's not a real person anymore. What? Shuck takes a step forward towards Dick. He wraps his arms around his waist. <laughs> Dick looks back and over his shoulder and hum. Back and forth. Chuck leans in slowly to Dick, and he whispers in his left ear, and he says, Witness the power of the mind. Dick blushes. Hubris. Used on the bear. It doesn't make a hit sound, so it sounds like it didn't hit him, but he took 23 damage, lost oh 23 God, he sanity. <laughs> he gained 8 true strike, which is a 80% increased accuracy on its next attack, which oh. will help it crit. Uh, but you so now we got an insane damage. bear. <laughs> yeah, the bear so is, we have an insane bear that's incredibly accurate. He's <laughs> is, is almost insane. It didn't take the damage. He took yeah, sanity it. damage. No, it, does, it did psychic damage and sanity damage, right? Yeah. It didn't take the psychic damage, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's still at 30 health. Was it at 30? You sure? Yes. Yeah, it was. was. That, uh, yeah. Right, right, Twitch chat, right? I, right? I, I don't, I, yes, I'm pretty sure. did not move. Yeah, I didn't think so. Psychic damage was OP in the first Pokemon, so I figured it'd be pretty good here. True. Learning from me, too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, so it oh, only does oh. sanity damage. So it, it's outputting the, the amount of sanity damage it did after the psychic? Yeah, I guess yeah, so. I, I changed it a while ago, and I forgot. Yeah, I do that all the time, <laughs> man. Me too. Yeah, but I will damage his health. Whoops. I... <laughs> no, you don't, you, you, don't, no, you don't have to damage his health, if that's the way that it works now. Yeah. Wait, so how does it work, just so I know? It, it deals sanity damage, and once they have zero sanity, it starts doing health damage. Oh, okay. Or negative sanity, I think. Because the, the strong thing about mm. psychic damage, then, is that it also is full piercing, so it ignores all armor, so someone like Gilead just fucking insta-dies to it. So then let yeah. me RP that a little differently. I I go into a sort of a trance, my eyes roll in the back of my head. I, I incept the bear's mind and I incept it with the thought of all of us eating its stolen cub for <laughs> dinner. What does this thing seem angry? It knows it knows sudden? common now. Ah, forest forest. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! My sentience! <laughs> I just gained awareness! I'll handle this sentient creature. Let's <laughs> kill it before it becomes really aware. It's its turn. Its mind is expanding too fast. <laughs> Soon it'll be smarter than all of us. Does it take the burn damage to the beginning or end of its turn? It just took it. Oh, nice. It Does it take more by moving into another tile? No. <laughs> it's always start of turn. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I oh, can fuck. Take this. <laughs> oh, my God. You <laughs> can't kill me. I won't die. Oh, my God. Here. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Oh. Not to a bear. 
What about a Giga Bear? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Why don't you speak dragon to it? And then it jumps <laughs> on top of Flaherty so she can't get away, slowing and taunting her. Oh, you great beast, get off of me! Good news! <laughs> it's Lucky's turn. All right, Lucky! Let's, Let's go! go. Lucky. Dies dead. Gilliard on his knees with a sword in the ground after being swiped at by Giga Bear relentlessly. Will not die. Not today. Oh my god! And then... Oh my god! Where the hell did you... <laughs> <laughs> he is insane! <laughs> Wait, wrong button. Wait, how the fuck do I use... Oh, oh yeah, you right here. Attack. Huh? You just clicked the attack button, right? You I did, but then it said out. error trace macro booze Which macro button? index. The the one that's like yellow on top of white text, so I can't even see it. Gilliard's greatsword. Did you oh. want to unequip it? No, I just pressed the wrong thing. I missed. And if the text is messed up, messed up I can fix that. If you let yeah, me know yeah. whenever you yeah. see it. Just make it like black. It's um, unfortunately more complicated than that, as most things are, but I can fix it individually every time. Can he move after attacking? No. no. Can you have moved first? Um. Yes. That's up to the DM. He could have, he could have moved first, but he did not move first. Um, Dick, it seems like you wanted me to do something. You should say that next time. <laughs> I'm in a battle of my life right now. Okay. Uh, kill fucks. Kill fuck can just walk into the fire. I don't care. He doesn't <laughs> care. He'll walk right Hardcore. in. Hardcore. And I'm just going to kill the bear. <laughs> that he does, that he does fucking hardcore. Just walks in and kills the bear. Good Holy job, shit. <laughs> Wow! Good job. <laughs> oh, Am I on fire it. now? Oh, cool. <laughs> the dust settles. The bear falls to the ground, crumpled in a pile of blood. As the berserker acts like this is just something you do every day, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Like this is mine. Mm -hmm. is, is this your guy's first bear? Yeah. Well, come on, really? A bear? Yeah. He, yeah. he just five. He pushes the corpse off. Kelfuck, oh, would you, uh, would you mind them. getting out the fire for a sec? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Kelfuck will step out and start, like, patting the fire off of his. <laughs> I want to kindle oh, it. Oh. <laughs> Can I kindle it? Yes. Okay. Flathy will make the fire stronger, but the heat will heal her wounds from the tackle of the Giga Bear. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Or right. gather around. Kindle hey guys, as Hoken Flat. Guys, I think there's something more pressing than the, the, the fire. What about Whoa. Lucky? Is it working? Oh. Lucky, guys. Uh, it's not working. Ah! Mate. mate, I guess you could say he wasn't very lucky then, I mate. I have anyone to help Lucky. <laughs> he won't be waking anyone up anymore, will he? <laughs> but I can help him, but it's six wealth is a lot. Mate, maybe he'll spot you, bro. Search maybe. his pockets. Does he have six wealth? I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, hold on. I, I fixed that Kindle ability like six times. I'm going to start looting Lucky. Do you want me to copy wait, wait, the wait, wait, wait. error message? No, I'll be wait. able to figure it out. I Before just, I'm anyone sorry does that anything. You lost your moment. The fire does cool stuff. Trust me, guys. It would have healed me two, two health per each tile. Whoa. Do we still count as in combat? No. No. Well, I guess I was I was gonna try and heal Lucky with the Dragon Tome. But I... That's uh, a long shot. Are you are you aware of how much sanity damage you're gonna take from that? that yeah, but there's a chance I don't take that much sanity damage. <laughs> there, if you don't take that, I, you, I, 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 your role play, dude. Deck, how much wealth he got on him? Uh, man, uh, Chuck's the one searching him, mate. Hey, uh, that's my friend. 
Because that's my agreed. loyal servant, Lucky. Now he's the bear meal. You can save him, but it's expensive. Someone, the doctor. Wait, <laughs> Lucky was the doctor. Can we put <laughs> six, give us six wealth and I can save him. Six. Ah. Uh, I don't uh, want to spend my own. I've worked it for months. Me neither, no. mate. How much is Lucky worth to you? Uh, I, I, more than any amount of money in this whole world. Uh, all right, then give her six wealth. Just uh, give her all your money then. Oh, if you Captain, it. actually, I think it's ten wealth. Ten. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bump ten from anyone? For Lucky. <laughs> Everyone chip in. Wait, uh, you don't have any money, aren't you the captain? <laughs> the Aegis Order comes together in a moment of grand gesture as they all walk forward, emptying one wealth from each of their pockets into the hands <laughs> of the begging Captain Von Smith. You are saying speech in every one of you. <laughs> you crazy Dullahan. Do what you must. Flatty uh, looks at the ten wealth and in a hand, and you see her like pick out four and put it in a pocket. And then <laughs> look at Lucky and uh, set his body on fire. Nice. Uh, I can't target him though. <laughs> I uh, I think I got you because he was. I an think NPC. he's so dead. I got you. Yeah. There we go. Lucky erupts in a blaze of fire. I saw the other side. Thank God he's alive. We brought you back from hell. He jumps into the well and lands on top of the bear carcass. We all going to be just fine. We all did a great deed this day, didn't we? So did we, we pass the test? All of us. Did we, did we pass the test or what? Oh, oh. Yes, the bear test. And we've all passed it, right, everyone? He looks around and they all shyly nod. The bear test. Very well done, everyone. Is that how every bear is around these parts? That one <laughs> had a little bit more kick in it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, man, I know what you mean, yeah, mate. Yeah. You kicked we all it? No, we all saw it. That thing was crazy. That's why I was uh, so angry. You kicked it. G get him out of the well. Man, you guys must be pretty strong fighting those things all the time. Uh, can I reach in and pull him out of the well? Yeah. I'll just reach in and pull him out. Group up. effort. That's so weird. Okay, you're not on fire anymore, Lucky. That's so... I, I've never seen a bear or anything charge this man before. This is your first injury, isn't it? I got, <laughs> I got this new scar on my, on my face. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, boy. There, there. Just a wee few burns. You'll be fine. Listen, everyone. This has been a little bit too much action for me. Perhaps we can talk about what comes next in the morning. Wait, I thought you were going to watch us kill the bear and then tell us to do something. Oh, Wasn't... God. If you want to do it now. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm feeling I great. I was going to take a bath and invite this lovely lady to join me. <laughs> Maybe will, you could, you know, heat up the water. On his... <laughs> Oi, quick, quick, quick on me, mom. Gilliard would start like pushing his chest, like, don't get too close. Oh, oh is this, oh. is she <laughs> your woman? No, <laughs> but they're my party member. <laughs> <laughs> he tips an invisible fedora at you. Very well, sir. <laughs> Everyone, he's oblivious. Everyone else, disperse. We shall discuss what comes next. Follow me down to my chambers. Chuck. Okay. Yeah. Why is the front of your shirt covered in pus? Lucky, join us. You know. Have you been medical? embracing Dick again? Yeah, you know, I just, uh, I needed a, uh, strong man to stabilize myself on so I could invade that bear's mind. Bears have very thick skulls. I had to brace to invade his mind, of course. I, I, I don't care. Well, you asked. I mean, you, you, you asked. I didn't I ask think, about the bear at all. I think you're jealous, mate. That's why. That's what happened. Can lose your when you're ready. I'm, I'm ready, mate. Chuck, I think she's just jealous of what we got. Me and you. You and I. 
Someday we'll leave these damn party members. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Teleports to bed? He brings <laughs> you down into the cellar, into his personal chambers. He sits down upon the bed. Why are we in your bedroom? <laughs> to discuss what comes next, of course, if you... Don't, don't we do that in, like, an office or something? If any of any ladies would like to take I'll a bath join. and relax. <laughs> Why do you own so many candles? Well, that's kind of our thing. You know what I mean? You have a I thing, think... right? D dick, no? dick, dick, please, not the... Please... Please. Hey, you should go wash out you're, your eyes. You should wash up if anyone's going yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. It's your fucking funeral, bro. You got to change that water four times when I'm done with it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guy for that. You don't have a door for your... <laughs> Why your, would uh, I need a door for my own personal bathroom? Naked. Yes, he does. Dick strips yes, he down does. naked and will try to get into the tub but we'll just fall in by accident <laughs> you alright in there dick yeah mate that class that I'm gonna go watch him to make sure he doesn't drown <laughs> I'm sure oh, it's, like sure it's like a child <laughs> baby. kill fuck make sure you scrub his back cause it gets bad uh. <laughs> kill fuck will go in and make sure that he does not drown all right, hey, everyone. Oh, you guys do you. You do you. See, oh. you said she was right. Say it again. Oh, mate. Hey. Yeah. How's me back looking? <laughs> what, you want me to get back there? Yeah, mate. All right. <laughs> Look, I do. I do. If you are, if you had a, a, a life-threatening pus disease on your back, I'd scrub your back, mate. Oh, I. I appreciate that. But uh, you don't. <laughs> yes, but if I did, you would. Yeah, but you don't. You, yes, I don't. I don't. Thank, thank, yeah, thankfully, I don't. <laughs> Yet, although I'm not sure about if... Is this contagious? Might be, mate. Uh, well. That's why you use the, use the fucking scrubber, mate. Just don't oh, touch okay. me. <laughs> kill, fuck, kill fuck will pick up the scrubber. And, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know how raw this back is, so like... It's, it's raw. Oh man! Oh it's yeah! Suck oh for yeah! Both of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's bad. Uh, Killfuck will lightly start like scrubbing on his back just a little bit. Ah! Oh! oh. Ah! Is that a hell? good scream or a bad? Yeah, scream? mate. Keep going, mate. Okay. All right. Uh, Killfuck will keep scrubbing like ah! very, <laughs> very gently, very tenderly. <laughs> Harder, up, down, where, where do you- Harder, run? mate! Okay. Oh, this, man. <laughs> okay. He screams really- Killfuck's uh, really- Set in the mood. Really gonna- Really gonna put oh, his I back in. it. see it lining the nope. walls in there. Oh! <laughs> One of the postules will burst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh! Yeah. Uh, better out than in, I say. Killfuck, yeah. remember to keep your mouth closed! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hot. <laughs> oh God. Mm. Uh, is there is there shampoo or something to clean his hair? It feels like <laughs> there is everything you could desire in the master's bed okay. chamber. All right, let's get behind your ears. Here we go. All uh, right. He'll put some shampoo, sort of scrub it, like work it, really work his fingers in there. Mate, you know Chuck cured me, right, mate? Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, mate. You know. Cured? Yeah, but I just got this feeling like I did, like I'm gonna die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're all dying. A little yeah, man, but it's like it's like it's like existential present dread or something, mate. Right? Like I'm well, gonna trip sure. trip How on the stairs. <laughs> I just don't feel right, mate. You know? Well, I'll tell you what. After a bath, you'll feel a lot better. I promise. Wait, this is me first bath ever since we got tossed in the ocean, mate. Your last bath was in ocean water? Yeah, mate. That's Remember with the, with the vomit? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been months. Yeah, it, 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 it has been months. Yes, you are, you are correct. Um, 
Killfuck will uh will work make sure he gets behind his ears, you know, and uh make sure he doesn't touch his back with his hands. <laughs> um that's a very touch important the back. Part. He's oh man. Uh touch it. No. Uh Killfuck will grab the brush and like he'll if there's like a cup, he'll like grab the cup and like pour it over his head, you know, and like pour it over his back. <laughs> <laughs> Like a dog, like how you wash the, a dog. Yeah, yeah, how you wash a dog. <laughs> the shampoo, the or a small the child. Wounds, man. Yeah. Ugh. I, what color is the water in the bath now? It, it's dark brown. Oh God. Um, yeah, dark brown probably. Yeah. Oh jeez. Okay. I mean, just look oh, at his. Well, just look at his socks. It's that color. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I oh, got, man. I got one of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, not about those socks. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, that's about as much as I can do for you. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna stay in here, mate. Yeah, all right. <laughs> please, please don't drown. Uh, yeah, we'll see, mate. I might just do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. You know what? I, I, you are the master of your own destiny. You do what you feel is right. All right. But it will be your fault, mate, because you won't be watching me. Oh, my God. Uh, Killfuck will stand in the doorway with one <laughs> eye over here and one eye and ear over here. Mm, what what an entertaining show you two have put on. <laughs> Wait, Never you, have I you, ever had anyone else in my bath. That's not surprising. I'm glad to be your first, Captain. Oh, it's a pleasure to host. Is, is the room big enough? No. I couldn't think of what else to put in it. <laughs> All right. About a towel rack, mate. <laughs> Listen here, boyos. You're the best we've got. Perhaps the best I've ever seen. No one has ever taken a bear that size down and lived to tell about it except Lucky. Wait, you guys, <laughs> must, you guys sound pretty weak then. Well, we usually don't fight bears. I, I made up the whole thing about it being uh, something we do to everybody. It was kind of more of like a raising, uh, you know, you're one of the boys now kind of things. Well, you you was hazing us, mate. I pulled one over on you there. No one else has fought a bear. <laughs> Good hey. one, Cap. Ah, I like this guy. Oh, it's too a... bad he's gonna die soon. <laughs> oh, I've cured him. He's fine, trust me. What do you usually fight then? Uh, we haven't been doing too much fighting around here. Uh, killed a couple mutants. You can never kill enough of those things. <laughs> Amen to that. I've only Hell seen yeah. one. Probably. Not too Wait, much no, action I've only seen uh, two, actually. here in High Sword yet. Uh, giant bugs, you know, the usual. Anyway, right, well, you I have to call us to your chambers. If you don't recall, uh, most of the guys here are on guard duty. You're kind of our go and get it crew. Yeah. All right. I yeah. remember all that time, all the yeah. times that we've done that. Yeah. Of course. Well, now that you're ready and prepared, that's what we've been preparing you for. You understand? Oh. To go and get oh. it. Right? Let's go. Uh, Nod. Okay. 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 What, what are, are we getting? getting? What well, are we getting? Yeah. Yeah, the way I see it, there's a couple of good options to really go and get it. Uh, get out there and earn some of that goodwill from the people so they stop complaining so much about having to give us all their money. I'm not really big on goodwill. Can we do something else? <laughs> well, I've got, as I said, a couple of options. If you don't want goodwill, there's definitely something in our basement. <laughs> you have to go to the basement? I went down he there with, uh, his name was Rick. He got eaten by the rats. I only got this one right here. Yeah, Ricky is gone. So we figured we'd wait for the new recruits if you guys want to check out. Wait, what's is that what happened to Lucky? Oh, oh, no, a lot of stuff has happened to Lucky. One here, <laughs> one there, a bear, a rat. Pretty much every time I send him out with someone, he's the only one to come back. Uh, I really <laughs> need to make stop a deal with him the devil or something. Uh, Lucky, what's the deal? I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself that lucky. Did you, like, kill your parents or something? What What are you on about, you fucking Jesus? <laughs> I don't know. So we were supposed to come here on a ship, and we were supposed to help this guy's son's marriage to Captain, right? And you said we really oh, yeah. needed to do that to fix, to make sure the ship went. 
Uh, we ended up killing his son. Well, we is a, you know, quotations. But uh, we ended up killing the son, and then the, sh the, the captain was all about, oh, now I, I only knew how to drive the, the ship with fate, and now that my fate's all fucked up, I can't drive the ship, you fucked us up. So maybe Lucky did something like that. That's, that's that, was a, that was just a sailor's old um, superstition. You know, they're all, they they believe know. in sea monsters, for God's sake. So they're not, I don't know if that's real. Are real. I, I no, don't know about that, guys. Not. Have you seen the actual giant snake that covers right. the whole island? Yeah, exactly. No, so like it's maybe, not real. Maybe Lucky did something like that. Like maybe he killed his parents or something. I think Lucky did something so fantastic that fates keep him around for just the right cause. Isn't that right, my boy? Yeah, I bet that's it. I saw him here for a reason. I'll just find out what it is one day. Maybe you're just a meat bag. <laughs> we'll see about that. If you guys come back from your first mission, there's definitely some fucked up shit in the basement. I'll tell you that much. Ah, but the so basement let's go isn't to the basement. The only thing. I've got a couple of things that maybe you can go do. Yeah, I heard uh, you okay. all talking about uh, if we're going to be recapping. Remember Prophet Avery? I think you should probably go kill uh -huh. that guy. Sounds like <laughs> yeah. a right fucking nut job. Yes, yes, we should. I don't Wait, think that these that's, guys uh, loved him. that's that much of goodwill. No one even knows he exists. So personally, low priority, but yeah, I would appreciate definitely to know that he was dead. He did stop me from doing what I wanted to do. Yes, mm. he, he humiliated me in a battle of the minds. <laughs> he said he would do that to me too, but it, it didn't phase me. All right, well, I think you could also maybe go to uh, our old base overrun by mutants. If you want to kill a few mutants, I yeah, know they're there. Maybe Dick well, will find his family. That sounds fun. You see my, uh, my carrier pigeons, my little baby birdie boys. They all are too stupid. They go back to the old base even though we moved. So if we get any news from the main island, or the main land, as they call it, then uh, we're going to miss it. Because those dumb birds just going to go get eaten by mutants. Mate, let's go kill the mutants. I fucking let's go hate to the them. Because it's closest and I'm tired. <laughs> then I can get mail from my family. Yeah, basement. I so say we go to the basement. mutants. The basement is the most vague. <laughs> I like the mysterious uh, shroud that surrounds this basement. But I want to go to the mutants so uh, I can get uh, mail. By, by a show of hands <laughs> in, in the bathroom as well. Uh, all for basement. I mean, it's just right there, guys. Come on, we could be done with this thing by sunrise. Hey, but I've got, cab I've got a bit of cabin fever. I want to get out. It doesn't uh, look like anyone's raising their hand. Well, what about the ba what's in the basement? I have no idea. I gotta know what's. In the <laughs> I, 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 I have to know. What's I gotta in know. The I wanna know what's down there. I gotta know what's in this basement. Hand. Raise your freaking hand, then. This is the first time I've agreed with Chuck on anything. I have All to right, know what's guys, down there. I the, gotta know what's down there. Here's we the can deal. do the basement when we get back. No, we can. It might be gone. Listen, yeah, listen, what if listen, whatever's listen. down there hey. leaves in the time we leave and come back? Hey, Can you just bring listen, up the hey, mutants? The, the big man speaking. All right, you listen to the big man. So listen. Yeah, kill fucking. Oh, hey, oh. hey! This is my bed. Okay. While I'm on oh, my oh, bed, I get to speak. So why did he just hit Lucky to get our attention? <laughs> <laughs> that was very mean, Master. Oh, oh my shut god. Up. <laughs> okay, well listen. <laughs> we took this castle from a couple of right weirdos. You see. Uh, this place was being uh, extorted by these evil bandits that were taking money from the people who lived here. Absolutely <laughs> detestable. When we found out about that, we solved their bandit problem, killed every single one of them, and then we asked the family who lived here for payment. Uh, they weren't so comfortable with us killing all them bandits. So uh, we slaughtered them all, and a uh, bunch of weirdos don't really know what they had in that basement. All right, yeah. man, I'll do, I'll, I'll do the basement, mate. Fuck it. All right, fine. Yes. I thought we were going to vote. Yeah, I'm voting for the basement. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of basements. Basement. Uh, well, people basement, are supposed basement. to raise their hands. I don't want to go back in that basement. I'm particularly vulnerable to peer pressure, okay? But I'm only if for Lucky the can come and assist us. Mate, I can't lift me arms because I'll put me back. Listen, I'm down to go wherever. It's just we need to do votes as uh, a party. Killfuck, Killfuck will go in and raise Dick's arm for him. 
<laughs> you okay? Why over there? does that hurt? <laughs> it's, it's just moving the skin around on me back is just painful. <sighs> Kill fucker raise his other arm. Hell's going on? Cool. Sounds like uh, we got a little basement adventure going on. All right. All right. Well, unfortunately, that has to happen like tomorrow <laughs> or like next week in the real world. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean real, real world? world? Real world? I think we're hey, all in Simon. Kind of dragon nerd. <laughs> this guy likes dragons, y'all. What? Dragon <laughs> these, right? Dragging these Dragon. what? Dragon these nuts, mate. You don't have nuts. Look at you. You're a, you're a monster. You're a freak. You know, I might have to research that if they actually do have nuts or not. Okay. Look at your little nutless, <laughs> nutless ass. Your little nut, nutless freak. Whoa. What's the point of carrying on without any nuts? Why are you do, just yelling at us? To what, you're not even in the bathroom do, with him. <laughs> Chuck's know. just oh. talking to the wall. <laughs> Chuck's talking to a mirror. <laughs> Question for DM. Uh, well, that that's it, guys, because I do have to prepare the uh, well, the thing for cut. for next week. I did have the I was trying to get the basement ready, but a lot of shit came up. Uh, yeah. We can look at fan art. There's only a wee but I gotta, little one or two of it. Actually, there's can we like push this back a couple gotta... months. Um, yeah, I would prefer not to. I got a question. I don't know. I think we should push it back a few months. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Question. Yeah. So you said fate is tied to like level ups now. How much fate do we need for a level up? Um, about a hundred fate would be the equivalent of a level up. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's something I need to think about this week. So we got twenty five percent XP, pretty much. Dub. Uh, I think it was twenty seven, and I have to apply it to you all. Hey, did you just come up with this uh, hubris spell during the break? Uh, a while ago, yeah. It's a cool spell, man. This class, whatever it is, feels a lot more fun to play. I'm glad nice. that you we can. Didn't, uh, you didn't really have one before. Crazy some kind chaos. Of I didn't really have. Yeah, I didn't really have any, anything to do except for now troll you like people. can do cool shit. Now I'm helpful while still trolling people. <laughs> the best Love kind it. of helpful. Well, for me at least. Yeah, a, a lot of stuff changed with how balanced Wait, the Chuck classes so are and fate. how they would progress. Yeah, Chuck, you also have He's more fate because you start at poet, but that doesn't really exist anymore either. Cool. The, <laughs> yeah, so you just grandfathered in. Yep. So you level up at 100, you think? But you got to figure it out. I have to figure it out. It's more of a resource that you would spend on things that are like permanent power upgrades, but I'm not 100% sure how it's going to play out exactly. What did what what the fuck did I What did I do? During you, there there were shit that you could study during <laughs> during the break, you remember? I learned some shit, right? What the fuck did I learn? I don't remember. Uh, before, because shit was kind of fucked, your character was incapable of learning spells. So that's not the case oh. anymore. And then also I, I gave you two new spells because okay. like, that's what Sick. you would have learned. Yeah. Okay, cool. 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 Uh, it looks like we have an animation of Chuck and Gilliard huh? kissing. <laughs> yes, okay. we do! Hold on a second. Where is this? Uh, Your channel? Let me get this in general real quick. <laughs> yes, we do. So we're good. Okay, I'm going to close. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. See a map tools. The forbidden kiss. The band kiss. They're, they're The band episode of Miriam. Uh, if you if you guys want to like I don't know sync up, I could count it down sure. if you're all ready to watch some kissing. Yeah, old too style. hot for TV. I'm ready. Um, I'm making sure it's uh... okay. I'm ready. 
Okay. Any watchers? Anyone else? Anyone not ready? I'm watching. I'm seeing. I'm ready. I see it. All right. I'm there. Three, two, one, go. There, there is literally one more, and they know that the battle uh -oh. is lost. I got me in Discord. They will begin sinking back down into the depths of the ocean. I did it. Avoiding the rest <laughs> of the conflict. No one Good can. Good job, everyone. The non -cannon I'm glad we got out just kiss. fine on our first combat. Yes. It's canon to me. We all did it. All of us. And then, Gilliard will grab Chuck by the coat and tails. Ooh, the collar. What did you do to me? Yeah, the collar. Well, um... Should I be the one asking what you did to me? I've been unconscious for the past, I don't know how long. <laughs> I saved you. I wouldn't yes. have normally, but for some reason I've been having these thoughts and you've been saying stuff. Uh, or is it maybe that I saved you? Go live your life. So you're admitting to doing something to me. No, what? For some reason, you're handsome all of a sudden. <laughs> Gilliard will take out his greatsword. Oh, okay. Fix Relax. Me. Back to the way I was. Undo what, what, you, what do you mean, fix you? Undo oh, what you did to me. There now. Is nothing, I didn't do anything. He will raise his greatsword. This is how we flirt in the Soul Shitter clan as well. <laughs> Even if I did do something, I couldn't undo it because I'm feeling crazy. When can you undo it? In due time. For now, just enjoy your Give life. Give me something so I can gain your trust to know that you will, or I will kill you like you <laughs> killed his son. You have my word, and what is Your more- Your word isn't enough. <laughs> you have a snake tongue. Give me something that is important to you, so I know. Very well. I give him a kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! And what Gilead is more important than a first romance? <laughs> Gilead will sheath his sword for now, because for some reason, he wouldn't normally like that, but he did this time. I'll just have you know, if you don't fix this later on, I will kill you. No, you won't. <laughs> He'll, start taking... <laughs> He'll start taking out his greatsword again. <laughs> and he will raise it above his head again. And I take one finger and I press it against his lips and I say, Shh, listen, my great warrior, the battle is won. No need to fight anymore. Shh. I try to cut off his finger. Oh! Oh, good job, bird. That's so good. What the oh, fuck? <laughs> Everything really is so good. much better when it's animated. Yeah, that's really good. I fucking <laughs> love when people animate stuff. Holy that's shit. That's so good, dude. Yeah, bird's insane. That was really that's good. That's amazing. Yeah. Long ago, ah, an astrologer was really good. I forgot all of that happened. <laughs> you know, but, now, but now, but now, but now, but now, but now, but now, I will never forget that. that yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I love when people animate stuff. It makes stuff so good. It's locked in.